And my character is Alessandro, and he's best friends with Cesare Borgia, and he had one. He's a true character as well. So he, he, I, I researched him and stuff like that, and he had one of the best educations in Rome. Came from a very, very well-off family, and uh, was very, very wild and loved his women and his drinking back in the day when he was young. You know, a drink will raise his spirits to the heavens. In vino divinity. And then later on in his life, he uh, became Pope Paul III of Rome. Well, I'm from Ireland, so we, we like to we like to party a lot anyway. So that was a part I could kind of uh, relate to, you know. But he, uh, yeah, that's what I love about him. Yeah, he's so intelligent, and to get into that all the time and, and see everything in a positive outlook like he does is quite it's quite cool. Puts you in a good mood every day, you know. Uh, I prepared for the role by, as I said, researching because he was, he, the way he thought of things back in those days was he had a new outlook on religion. The dialect coach, actually, she's great, Dale. Um, she sent me a, a piece on Alessandro so I could research and see exactly where he was and what he did and, and stuff like that. And then I, saw, I looked him up in his later life when he became Pope. The costumes help a huge amount, man. It's just like, I mean, when you go on to set, and the costume is right there, man. You just you step into it and then you can see, you slide your own self away from in your own clothes and then you see this thing on you, you know, and then seeing the sets around you and stuff and everybody else's costumes really help. Yeah, it's bizarre if you just look in the mirror and you just see exactly what they felt. Because they were just normal. They were exactly like we are. We haven't changed at all since, since those days. So it's basically exactly the same. Um, except with those clothes, they, they, they show you how to move, how to stand. Shoes are really important as well. If you figure out what type of shoes the character wore, boots and stuff, then you can figure out how the character stood. And then you can approach, some days if you need to approach the role from outside and go inwards, you can do that if you can't get into it some days, you know? So yeah, go from the stance into the way he moves, into the way he sees things, and then into the actual thoughts and feelings of the character, you know? As far as the script is concerned, it was edgy. Yeah, it was raw, man. It was really, really like, nothing's changed. It's human nature, you know? So it's, uh, that's, that's what Tom had, had put into the script. It just like, it was almost like it, it's happening right now, here and now, today. And it's just, it's just really, really hardcore stuff. And it was, it's nice to do that, you know? There's no holes barred and there's not a lot of limitations or boundaries. It's not period, period, you know what I mean? So it's very, it's very, uh, it's very modern, new age. You know? Well, Tom's adaptation, um, as he said in one of his interviews, it's not Shakespeare, it's not any of that kind of stuff. It's Fontana, you know. So that's the, that's the writing. Um, it's all about rhythms, and everything's there for a reason. And uh, if you find the rhythms of the beats, it's just like bam, 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 bam. You know, people you can bounce scenes off people, and it gets really, you can get really, really deep and into it, and it makes for really good scenes. Oliver, uh, he's fantastic, man, yeah. I've worked on him before. He gets really into it, really deep into it, man. And uh, he uh, he doesn't let up for anything, man. Like, he just, once he once he gets going, he's a perfectionist and he, he wants to get the scene and get the scene and he, may, he gets the best out of you without even realizing it. You think you're doing a terrible job and what you thought the scene was might not be what the scene is in his head. And you're like, oh, you just feel you can't get into it. And then he just, pushes you past that limit and you reach a new height. Like I've reached so many new levels, man. He, he, he just makes you grow as an actor a lot. He's awesome, man. Well, I am from Ireland. Uh, the one thing I'm a little devastated about about Czech Republic is there's not enough Guinness. Because uh, they have some Irish pubs, but they don't have any Guinness. Like the Irish pubs have Guinness, but it's not the same as in Dublin, you know? But uh, the beer here, man, it's amazing, man. It's like, it's a beer called Cozelle, and it's like really, they got really good dark, heavy beers, and I like that, and a lot of froth. Um, the people are lovely, man. It's it's weird, because it's a big city to me, because I'm from Dublin, so it's a, Dublin's quite, you know, it's a small city, but here is like, um, it's big enough, man. It's probably maybe three times the size of Dublin, but it has the vibe of a small village. So it's like you see the same people, and they're all really, uh, really cool to talk to, and, and work in a fantastic city with a lot of history. And it's just the architecture is amazing, man. All the all the, the like pointy skylines, and it's just this fantastic mist that just comes over. And it's uh, I mean you can't complain, man. The cast and crew, they're just like on the on the ball, man. Big time. They're just like they're so tolerant of everything, and there's no there's there's no egos at all. Like everyone's just respectful of of how you approach your job, 
and they expect you to be respectful of them as well. So there's a lot of time for each other, you know, which, which is hugely important. So everyone feels comfortable around each other. And it's important for something like this because we're, we're going we're gonna to be working for a long time with each other, you know. So we need to, everyone needs to get on. And, and I mean, they've done a lot of big jobs here. A lot of big films have come over. So, uh, you know, I'm learning a lot from the crew. I learned, I've learned a hell of a lot, um, personal-wise, spiritual-wise, just job-wise. And, and we all go out. We all go out afterwards nearly every night and have a drink and, and, and have, the, have a laugh, you know. So I think I've made some good friends here, you know, as well as really good companions work-wise.